Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I feed my axolotl baguette. So let's get started. Live worms are the most nutritious thing you can feed your axolotls. These red worms are what I feed baguette. When they are younger, you can feed them these frozen blood worms, but when they get older, these no longer have much nutritional value for them and are more just like feeding them candy. So when they are older, I just use these as a treat. They do make axolotl pellets. If you have an axolotl that absolutely cannot stand the taste of worms, but they do get better nutrition from the live worms. Axolotls do have teeth, but they are barely visible. They mostly eat through suction. So I just use my tongs here and feed him his worms. Some people feed by hand, but I don't really want to get bitten, so I have always just used the tongs. So I give him a little bit of time before feeding the second worm. Sometimes if he's looking a little big in the stomach or he hasn't went to the bathroom, I will only feed him one worm a day. This feeding was from a different day. They live in very cold water, so they have very slow metabolisms. So it's very easy to overfeed them. Usually they will take the worm and then if you have overfed them, they will throw it back up. Sometimes the worm will escape through behind their gills and kind of come out through the side of their head. I've only had this happen one time. It is quite freaky looking, but they will usually sort themselves out. I've read it's best to not pull the worm out yourself because they are so sensitive around their gill area. It's just something to be aware of. If I had not known about it when it happened to Baguette, I would have been completely freaked out. So as you are determining how much to feed them, you can always tell whether they are overweight or underweight by looking at them from the top. The widest spot of their head should line up with the widest spot of their body. If it is smaller, you will want to increase your feedings. And if they're looking a little plump, you can decrease your feedings or start feeding every other day. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.